And then let's talk a little bit about braising versus stewing. So stewing is when an item is completely submerged in a liquid. Okay, so both braising and, and stewing are low temperature, we, long and slow. Okay, so braising is about halfway up the item in the pan. So stewing, completely submerged, and braising is partially submerged. That's the difference between those two. So what I like to do to retain as much of this liquid as possible in the pan and not lose it is, if you'll notice, I have about four inches, maybe three to four inches of space above the liquid in the pan. If I just put the lid on like this and cook it, it's gonna be great. Low heat, low heat for two and a half hours. It's gonna be delicious. But by putting a circle of parchment paper inside, and I just cut this, I just traced it and then cut inside there. What's gonna happen is the liquid's gonna simmer up into the parchment paper and sort of drip back down into the pan. And it's gonna continue to do that for two and a half hours, and it's gonna be basting these shanks as we go. Now, will the same thing happen with the top lid of the pan? Absolutely. The steam will rise to the top, the flavor will rise to the top, and then it'll drip back down onto the lamb shanks and it'll baste them. But with that three to four inches, we're gonna lose some moisture in between. So I like to retain as much of the liquid as possible and incorporate as much flavor as possible. Okay, I've seen people put another lid from a different pan on top inside that one that fits inside there and just and then put the other lid on top that works really well too so it's just kind of one of those fun little tricks that i like to share with people because i feel like you you get a better yield a better yield means more at the end if we use that little piece of parchment paper okay so there's my there's my tip of the day that's it <laughs>